Madam Speaker, two sections of the Referendum Act, Chapter 10, are being proposed for amendment to expand when a referendum should be held. One, on any proposed amendment or repeal, whether expressed or implied, of the Petroleum Operations Maritime Zone Moratorium Act. And two, on any proposed legislation affecting the carrying on of petroleum operations within the limits of the Maritime Zone of Belize. Madam Speaker, just as a little background, a statement was released yesterday, jointly signed by the Government of Belize and by Oceana in Belize. I have to congratulate the Attorney General uh, for presenting the Government of Belize and Mrs. Jacqueline Marshallek for presenting Oceana in Belize for their continued dialogue and for drafting this statement and certainly um, Oceana for keeping the communication channel open after the petitions were submitted to the Governor General. A few points from the joint statement. One, GOB confirms that there is no intention of amending or repealing the provisions of the Moratorium Act. We have to be clear about that. Two, GOB and Oceana in Belize are mutually committed to meaningful consultation on the matter of petroleum exploration in the maritime zone. Three, GOB and Oceania in Belize remain mutually committed to meaningful engagement to focus on the many marine conservation challenges that require collaborative action. Four, this amendment will ensure that the people of Belize will have their voices heard through a national referendum in the event that any government, now or in the future, desires to amend or repeal the Moratorium Act. Five, there is a commitment to dialogue and meaningful working relationship to protect and sustainably manage Belize's maritime conservation environment. And six, finally, thank you to all the Belizeans who signed the petition. Please be assured that your message was heard loud and clear.